Kara, it's Tuesday, and I'm outside. I kind of like being outside sometimes. It's nice to just walk around and, you know, just video whatever I want to videotape. And I feel like I needed to take a walk outside because I was getting real emotional just sitting on the couch watching YouTube videos. I was watching John's newest video and I realized that Friday is yesterday. And it reminded me that two years ago I was just getting to know who Esther was as with most of Nerdfighteria because she was so important even though we didn't really know all of the things that she did until uh, right before she died. And it's sad because she was so awesome and I wish I could have actually met her. I wish I could have known her. I wish that I could have at least messaged her and had some sort of contact with her because I feel like everybody who did just was so inspired and I was so inspired just by watching her YouTube videos and uh, it, I don't know if you know this but my sister Cecilia uh, turned 16 four days before Esther did and it was difficult for me to watch this girl who was my sister's age go through all this and realize that that could have been my sister. That could have been your sister. That could have been any number of people that we love. And watching her, her just live her life as awesomely as she could was inspiring, to say the least. She was awesome. Her videos made me laugh. She kept up her spirit a lot. Even, like the last week of her life. She made one last YouTube video uh, touring her house and it was just she was hilarious and I just I get really emotional when I talk about it because I just connect her with my sister sometimes without even meaning to and that's why uh, the character of Hazel just was so close to me. Also I didn't I don't think I showed you my new tattoo on here. My uh, my thoughts are stars. I can't fathom into constellations tattoo from Tethios. I got it because of the video that Esther made on August 8th of the year she died. Sorry about how everybody has all these feelings and when we talk about them or write them down, it's easier to come to terms with them because we don't... Uh, we aren't always aware of what we're feeling. She was talking about how she had felt like she was fooling everyone in Nerdfighteria because she wasn't always strong and she wasn't always awesome. And, and I feel like that's how we all feel it sometimes. We all feel like we're fooling somebody because we're putting on a brave face and we're not really that brave. But the way that she was able to talk about it was just amazing and wonderful. And for this yesterday, Kara, I'm going to tell you, Kara, I love you. And it doesn't matter that we have never actually met each other. It doesn't matter that we don't talk as often as we did when we first started making these videos. And it doesn't matter that we don't know every little thing about each other. It matters that when we really need each other, or when I really need a video to cheer me up, I can go to our channel, and I can see your face, and I can watch something that you did, and I can be inspired by you. And I hope that you feel the same way about me, because that's just what I wanted from our channel and we're trying to show that every day is awesome no matter what happens just for like the little things like today is awesome because I I submitted a manuscript to a publishing company for the first time ever in my life 
I got up the courage and I emailed this publishing company, a manuscript, and they could reject me. They could publish one of my stories. But it's doing something. And it's getting my ideas out there. And that's what this is also. This is our, us getting our ideas out here. Kara, I'll hopefully see you soon.